Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Place, Starfield. It's time to talk to Deputy McIntyre, who I think is just over here. They are just chilling over here. A vanguard captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That's me. I cannot have this mug. I can have this folder. Please. Take a sit. You're not going to sit anymore now. <laughs> I'm really curious what the geometry would do interacting with a uh, character model, but... Deputy doesn't want to sit, so we won't find Let out. Let's make you my vanguard captain. That's me. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? Um... I mean, it's like a library. They're the repositories for all the banned data from the colony war. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board. So that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Hmm. <laughs> Can we forge them? Um, you'd think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Sure. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar? or Ambassador Balmor of House Varun. So just as a quick recap, we are trying to learn about Terramorphs because there's important Terramorph data <clears throat> that was banned after the war because uh, they were experimenting with Terramorphs as weapons, as uh, bioweapons. So in order to get access to this data, we have to get codes from each of the three factions in order to access the data. We have one, but we have to get the other two. So I'm going to have to convince Ambassador Radcliffe and Ambassador Balmore. Tell me about Radcliffe. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Oh. Well then, hope she's doing a good job. Ooh. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I think you're underestimating just how delightful I am. Huh. Well, if that's the case, I'll wait to be pleasantly surprised. But we do have one item up our sleeve. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device... You're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. 
But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. This is a lot because my hope is that there is a way to just go up to the ambassador and be like, I'm very charming. And then she'll be like, okay. Because to like try and get information from a person, to get into the uh, living quarters, to get access to a secret device, that's a lot. I have maxed out charisma, and I also have um, hippo drug. <laughs> hippo, hippo snort. Anyway, I've got several hippo snorts, so I think I'm going to be fine. Is there any other things I should avoid doing inside the embassy? Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. I don't think I'm going to have to deal with the staff member, but just in case... Tell me about him. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life, and someone who very likely hates her guts. All the info I need. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. I guess tell me about both. If I if I learn about both, I might not have to come back. Tell me about Balmore. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Hmm. I'm sure he can be reasoned with House Varun or people, just like us. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Never mind. Of course. But there is... another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Oh! His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Um, sorry, this is relevant. What kind of life signs did you detect in the I I embassy? The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, mm. making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. Um, what, what, what do I do if he's dead? Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'll track him down. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Okay. So we're going to go to the embassy. Okay. And learn what we can learn about uh, Radcliffe. This will be fine. I really don't... I don't believe that it's going to require... By the way, Captain, a bunch of extra Captain. nonsense. God, look at him go! He's so broken. Oh, he he got he got all he got all fixed out. All right, here we go. <laughs> one one day they'll do that. at the embassy every now and then. Why am I Only fighting? Place you can get some good old Aquila City beer. 
No, put away your, what are you, why do you have your fists out? Got into the embassy and just like, I'm ready to hurt somebody. I'm like, please don't. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. But I'm a ranger. So I'm not allowed in here. I think I am. <laughs> Always good to get back to Freestar soil. Even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. That seemed like it was okay. I didn't go to jail. Do y'all have anything I can, like... Have? There's some cups. Is this it? This is not it. This is it. Here we go. All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? You bet Sorry. your butt. Hold Everyone on, let me sit. On Hold on. What can I... Let me... Let me just put this in my chair, because I need a little padding. Alright, time to sit. Oh, it came out the back. All right. Anyway, let's chat. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Um. <laughs> you seem like a lady who wants to stop more Terramorph attacks. Well, have I got a deal for you. What are you? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. That's right. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. Mm hmm You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly saved many lives now she also mentioned that and maybe it was just a bad connection that now the uc wants terramorph data from the armistice archives some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy in order to protect us all i can only presume you're here to tell me i misheard her and that they didn't send you local hero to futilely beg on their behalf tell me i've got that right Oh man, Sam Co is here, so Sam Co can speak. Also, I forgot the hippo. Hold on. <laughs> Ma'am, hold that thought. I need to do drugs. Um, aid. Hip, 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 hippo. All right. All right, let's talk. So, am I mistaken? They didn't actually send you here to beg for access to the archives, did they? Sorry, I'm on drugs. I'm gonna let Sam talk. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this Where is. Where is Sam? And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Oof. Really? An explorer's club? Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City or Neon. The results would be bad, or, let's be honest here, far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Ko. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, the way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours? And go. Please, Ambassador. Just listen to what I have to say. You're really gonna push this? That's right. Alright, I will give you one chance. One to convince me. Understood. I understand. Just hear me out. I'm listening. <laughs> I can just bribe her? Alright, how much is it gonna cost? 4000 I think we can work something out. There's my bribe. Got my bribe. Uh, like Sam said, the Freestar Collective owes it to its people to act. Hmm. Coes do have a way with words. Imagine how it'd look if the next attack occurred in Freestar space. That's right. Well, Captain, you, you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these Terramorphs. 
the monitors will make sure of it. You go in once, you get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Yeah. Excellent. Follow me. Uh, first thing I gotta do, though, is... Where am I level? There am I level. Uh, let's go into social. Negotiation! Cool, that reduces bribery costs, but more importantly, it means that we've put enough skill points into social to unlock this stuff. Companions gain affinity faster? I don't care about that. Uh, instigation. You can force a target NPC at or below your level to attack their allies for a limited time? Sign me up! I have to instigate five people? Oh, it's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Really looking forward to that. Very excited. Got real close. Oh, and there's one final thing. I'm assuming in order to... Yeah, we just have to bribe five times this time. Okay, got it. You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. Where was Sam standing that he was being spoken to through a wall? Not sure I understand. Employees only. They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. This is I don't know. Something about this is very funny to me. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights to unlock the <laughs> allies, I guess. All right. We need to go to the Armistice Code Machine. Like, this is a giant... This is a giant machine to get this code. I'm like, all right. And it's like a, like a dot matrix. Really? You need something? You do. You just said you do. <laughs> What if we kissed in front of the Armistice code machine? Ha ha, JK, unless... Sam. I, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. Yeah. After our last talk, I, my eyes feel a little more at peace. A little more whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora, and that's complicated. You don't talk a lot about your father. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear Memories. What do you remember? She had these truly ancient cameras, like caveman type things. To the room with a red light, she developed pictures she took in this chemical bath. Mm. I remember sitting on a stool, looking up at them slowly fading in, and it was like alchemy to me then. That's all I have. Just glimpses like that. What happened? She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. Supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. And one day mom's fine. When the next doctors take her away. I bet that changed things at home. You better believe it. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments, and he had a future all laid out for me. 
Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. What'd your dad do? At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. We still had a finger in trade all over the collective. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to Mom and me. That future wasn't for you, was it? You know me too well. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. <laughs> Do you ever tell him you didn't want it? Oh, I started to. Many, many times. He'd always steer the conversation away or just use logic to dissect every little point. Once I held my ground and he said I was an ungrateful child, not worthy of what he was doing. He should have asked what you wanted. I know, right? Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always kneeling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class of manipulation. Hmm. If he does anything like that, I'm sure you'd shut it down fast. Well, like you said, I've taken a lot of hard knocks, learned a thing or two. Yeah. I might be able to make sure Jacob stays a good, doting granddad. Or else, I guess I got more to think about. Did they leave? They left. Which means that I'm just in here with the Armistice Code Machine. I feel like I, I shouldn't... This vent's... Dear God. Oh, that's probably how I would have come in if the, the interactions didn't go as easy as they did. All right. I need to get out of here. I'm pretty sure it's up the stairs. Because I don't want to go in any rooms they don't want me in. Because then they're mad at me. All right, so now we gotta go to the other place. If we go to the other place, we'll be all set. What? This is, this is how I get to the House of Arun Embassy? Yes, it is. It's what? It's down this really obscure hallway? What is th what is this hallway? Where are we? Where? <laughs> Infinity Limited HQ requires key. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. When we were getting the information, we were told that we had to go in a side door. That's right. And also, the other thing is that the security is on the fritz, and we might get shot at. And that's exciting. Certainly keeps things interesting. And also, the ambassador um, might be dead. All right. We're probably going to get shot at in here. I've made peace with that. Because in this video game, I have been shot at before. Is this a door? No, it's not even a door. So this is a kind of a small space. Anything cool here? There's a, a few dollars. There's an upper floor. I don't know if it's going to take us there. I just want to see what's on the second floor. <laughs> A 
coffee mug. Is that it? That is it. There is nothing here. I'm glad I checked, but that's sad. I was expecting like a little something. All right, so this is this is this is it. We are in the actual embassy now. I mean, is it supposed to look Sam, like this? Sam, Sam, shut up. Varun, you just never know. Sam, follow voice intercom. Give me old, old reliable here. Lobby security computer. This might be worth unlocking. Let's see what's on this computer. Oh, shoot. It's the turret control. Okay. Update for info settings. Recalibrate. Protect current user. We love that. We can turn them on, I guess. If they're not going to harm me, then I don't care if they're on. And if I run into any problems, they'll help me. There's a power switch. Is there anything in here? A toilet paper tube! Endless. Endless fun for hours for a cat. I, can't, I guess the phrase endless fun for hours. <laughs> endless fun for a limited time. That, they should put that. <laughs> they should put that on the cat toy boxes. Endless fun for hours. Oh yeah, the snake. These are the snake people. That's right. Creepy. What the holy hell happened here? It just gets weirder and weirder. This is very creepy. Okay. There are robots falling out of the Oh god. Oh, I think I'm under the influence of something. I'm pretty sure that this is like laughing gas. I'm seeing things. This seems like a bad. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Nobody tells me what to do. I like looking around. Okay. I think we're set here. Seeing the mannequins around just makes me think of uh, Fallout 4. Permanently increased sneak bonus. Love that. Oh, there's something happening. Are these real? I guess so. Oh, this is happening. Guide within serpent. Is that why they see the snurp the snurpet? The serpent? That's why they see the serpent. Cause they're um really high. Okay. House for Rune's starting to make a lot more sense. So yeah, maybe maybe it's this this whole thing is less about like these these crazy folks and more about like Cheech and Chong. Is this a new Wait, didn't I turn off the What? What's shooting at me? 
I thought I made the turrets my friend. I don't know that it's working out like I wanted it to. Oh, the turrets? Yeah, the turrets aren't shooting at me. Yes, they are! What? I thought I'd... I thought it was like, be my friend! Intercom. Uh, not this intercom. Inaccessible. Okay, let's... Oh, God. Uh, there's... S maybe some supplies in here? Could be something worthwhile? Sure. I heard you the first time, sweetheart. I'm on my way. Who shoot? Who do a shoot? Can't see good. Can't see good. There's robot. I shot it. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Got it. Oh, God! That one's a jumper! Woo! Woo! Get in the cubicle! Get in the safety cubicle! Ah, I don't like it when the robots jump. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do not want to see a robot jump. Sam, fine. Robot, no. Dislike heavily. Do not like that. Do not show me a robot that can hop. Also, I should probably not die. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Ugh, that's creepy. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't want to see no robot hopping around. It's awful. What was this? I don't want that. Hello? It seems like it'll do something. Yeah, Great Serpent something. A container lid? Yes! Alright. Let's move on. Oh, this is locked? Let's see what's behind this door. Oh. This is just where I was? This is where I was? I need to get... I need to go down a f floor. How do I go down a floor? I had come up a floor. And the inverse of that is go down a floor. So I must need to go, like, in here. Yeah. I did do the power switches in the wrong order. Which worries me. Because then I'm like, oh god, who knows if that'll, like, break the game. Sometimes that sort of thing breaks the game. Conference room, security computer, I don't need that. Although this is now saying to go further down. Oh, do I have to hit all of the... <sighs> Love a good basement guardian. No, 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 close the door, close the door, close the door. No, don't open the door. Don't open the door, it can hop. Don't open the door. I'm cold. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> it's already dead, and I'm just like, no! Back, demon! Uh, dun, 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 dun. This is the big boy. 
for big big boy times. Time to change. Is this one stuck? Maybe. Approach the stranger? Stranger. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Well, the ambassador's alive. There's no one else down here at all? That's kind of wild. You just live down here? All right. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Um... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, um, real quick. Did you say that thing pouring out clouds upstairs is called a venom tree? Is that, is that poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Spaceport is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door? Hmm? <laughs> and the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, an archive code. Yep. So the UC requires information, then. Mm -hmm. On terror morphs, presumably. That's hmm? right. Do I see this all clearly? It's true. Uh, correct. We're going to use the data in the archives to better understand and stop these attacks. The preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. Hmm. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. <laughs> what about gunpowder? Uh, you have my word. I will make sure it's used for good. For whatever it's worth, Sam Co here. You got my word too. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Do you also have a machine? An armistice code generator machine that's like in the other room? Oh my god, you do, don't you? Uh, let's hope it still works. Alright. 
And there. Let it be used for good. Okay, what else you got in here? And am I allowed to have it? It kind of looks like I might be allowed to have it. But it's not worth anything. Can I have this med pack? And this money? I guess the answer to that question is sure. I'm also going to take a little sh little snooze. Did I hear uh, snoring? Storeroom keycard? I also want that. Thanks. Oh, Wait, shoot. No, that's not that was stealing. I was just taking stuff. Oh, God. Oh, no. He didn't see. He didn't see. I don't think he saw. I'm just going to... Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just drop it on the floor. He didn't see. We're good. It's all good. It's all good. I was just... I was like, man, they just let me have stuff. They gave me this... These, this money? This is a nice bathroom. This is an executive suite bathroom. I mean, I can sell this stuff, and I don't, I'm like, eh, whatever. This is stealing. What? It's, well, okay. It's, it's a little confusing sometimes what is and is not stealing. It's not always super clear. Will we all be so lucky next time the archives need to be accessed? Something to think on. Uh, the, the Great Serpent, that's your god, right? The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is fate itself. Oh. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies 140 years ago for distant stars, it was the serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. So why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the great serpent, and I do not believe the serpent decides such things on a whim. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. Where'd the rest of the staff go? The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Alright. Okay, well I think we're done here. Uh, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Next episode we have to go return these codes to uh, Deputy McIntyre and then we're going to get some data. I don't know what that means yet but it probably means fighting more Terramorphs and I am down for that. <laughs>